Welcome back to Sonic 06. We are done with Sonic Story, so no more game-breaking gems, unfortunately. Really? Yeah, because nobody else gets the gems. Oh. Sonic only gets them because he got the, the special shoes at the beginning of the game. And he's the only one who has those special shoes, so yeah. So, I see. now we are in Silver Story, and the reason I'm playing Silver Story first... And the reason why everybody does Silver Story, Silver mm -hmm. Story second, and then Shadow Story, is because Silver is the slowest out of all three of these guys. See, Sonic and Shadow at least try to run fast, but Silver doesn't even make a fucking attempt. Uh oh. He's like snail's pace compared to Sonic and Shadow. Oh. So yeah, this is not the greatest introduction for him. Oh. Um, and as a result, his gameplay is slightly altered to compensate for his slow ass. Um, which is weird because any other time he can zoom past at lightning speed, which you will soon see in the opening FMV. Um, and unlike Sonic Story, both Shadows and Silver Stories will be starting off with a, uh, with, with a level. Because in, because in Sonic Story we started off in Soliana and we were talking to people and we did a town mission and everything. No, no. In Shadow Story, we start in White Acropolis immediately, and in Silver Story, we start in Crisis City immediately. So, we're going to go straight into gameplay, no town missions, no talking to people, none of that bullshit. So, Future Glitch is going to have a break with the loading uh, cutouts, at least for now. Because when we get into Crisis City, it's still going to be about three or four parts. Oh, so, great. there'll there'll still be a lot of loading. So, anyways... With that said, let us watch the opening cutscene. This is going to be the world was devastated before I was born. Really? A harsh, bleak place where we live in eternal darkness. How fucking... Life is a struggle. I just, I just want you to take a moment to, like, appreciate the atmosphere that they try to sell with this. Look at this. This is the post-apocalyptic future that Eggman sent Sonic and friends to. Hmm. And we, we get more backstory here than we do in Sonic Story. Like, Sonic Story is literally fucking nothing. These flames, they burn away at my world, destroying everything in their path. Everything? They come from an eternal life form that we cannot truly defeat. The flames of disaster I cannot as Ableus. Silver! Silver Ableus. Wait, what's wrong? He's appeared again! Yeah, Blaze is here for some reason. They, they just fucking... Completely redconned uh, her backstory from Sonic Rush, and now she's from the future. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. So yeah, and like I said before, play, oh. you need to play Shadow and Silver Story in order to actually get any backstory for this for this game because Sonic Story doesn't really give any backstory at all, other than who the Flames of Disaster are, because we briefly see the flames of disaster. Wow, what fucking bullshit we have to start today. Wow, he's so slow. Yeah, yeah. no shit. I thought he was a Sonic character. What happened? I don't yeah, know. No. Yeah, no, that's not the case. Okay, here. You can hold can the arc trigger things. and then, yeah, and bend things and break things. <laughs> Because because we're so far into the future, Silver can Silver can uh, manipulate anything with the power of his mind. And if you notice on the bottom right, the bar the bar has been coded properly. So it actually she's it fucking actu dead. It actually diminishes. Oh yeah, check this out. Okay. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> people, speedrunners have done that to like literally break this fucking game. It is, it is so easy to break this game. Oh, and watch out, cause that tornado is carrying a car. A car. Oh, now, now we got, now we get to the point where everybody's just gonna start pointing out the obvious. Oh no. You may also notice that I'm repeatedly tapping A after jumping. And that's because it covers more air distance, and it also replenishes. It also uh, it also drains the the energy bar a lot slower, so you can get away with doing this 
and Silver covers a lot of ground. Oh, he's fucking dead. Why can't you grab people? It's gay. Alright, here we go. Oh, wait, wait, you can? Shit. Oh, yeah. Well, you have to stun them first, but you have to get, like, super fucking close to them in order to actually do that. Oh. But even then, their hitbox is fucking shit. Also, a lot of people like to portray Silver as, like, a pig ass. What? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I mean, I meant to say he's... He's a, he's a flaming hedgehog. A lot of the fan base likes to portray him as a flaming hog. And as a result, as a result, it ruins his reputation as an actually decent Sonic character. At least, at least I think. <laughs> Don't get in my way! That's when I can smack his fuck. ass. Ouch. Fuck. Oh, he's dead! Yeah. Like I said, you can stun enemies and then use your psychokinesis to grab them. What the <laughs> fuck?! I've never seen that happen before. He's fucking dead. Oh no, he's over. No, he just—he just flew over there. Again, that tornado's carrying a car, so watch out. It's carrying a car. Oh my god. Gotta bend it. So Crisis City comes back in Sonic Generations, um, and the funny thing about the funny thing about Crisis City is that it has an achievement slash trophy, depending on what version you play. Uh -huh. Um, it's called Look Both Ways. Okay. If you, if you complete Crisis City Act 2, uh, without getting hit by a car that was carried by a tornado, mm -hmm. at the end, you get, you get that achievement, slash trophy, slash whatever those Steam achievements are called. I think they're just called achievements, but yeah. yeah. You get an achievement called Look Both Ways. Look and the ways. and the and the description and the description reads, complete Crisis City Act Two without getting hit by a tornado carried car or, uh, whatever the fuck was the other thing. I don't know why, but I'm having fun. Also, we get to play as Blaze. She is literally the best part of the entire fucking story. Cause she can run. Yes. Except for, <laughs> except for there for some reason because. Oh my fucking god! What happened? Oh yeah. He's fucking see, dead. See in uh, in Sonic in the Sonic Rush games, Blaze is just basically a female version of Sonic who comes from a different dimension, and instead of collecting Chaos Emeralds, she collects Soul Emeralds. That's cool. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. And her backstory was, she was the guardian of the Soul Emeralds, and she's a princess from her dimension. Oh. But of course, Sonic Team completely forgot that Sonic Rush was a thing when they were making this game, and so they just, they just made her a descendant from the future and Silver's friend. So, Sonic Rush in this game does not fucking matter, because she's from the future. But yeah, she basically controls just like Sonic, except you may notice I'm doing a homing attack right now. Uh, you actually you actually press X, whether you're in the air or on the ground. You press X and she does her homing attack thing. If you hold it, then she does this. And if you, if you uh, tap A and then tap A again, she has a double jump. And later on, we will see that Amy also gets a double jump, but her double jump is fucking crap. She is literally the worst character in, to play as in this fucking game. Because of her fucking control scheme. It's fucking fucked to shit. I think we're getting another... Yeah, we are. Silver's first canonical appearance in the series would technically be Sonic Rivals. And for those who don't know why, because you're not... Oh, no shit, Blaze! Um, 
That tornado is yes. carrying a car. It's carrying a car. Blaze! Blaze! It's the way he says Blaze. It's just Blaze! Oh, we got a psychokinesis thing. Do it! Boing! Yeah, when you see that icon, you just hold the right trigger and then he does the thing. Great! Die. So if you didn't play Silver Story yet, then you were most likely introduced to his gameplay during Sonic Story. Because if you may recall, we did briefly play as him uh, in Kingdom Valley during Sonic Story. And do keep an eye out because this tornado is throwing cars at you. Make them die. And you can just Make avoid all die. of these guys and... Do it again! After eight long minutes... There we go. We got it. Also, the S ranks are a lot more forgiving in Silver Story because the devs knew that... The devs knew that you would most likely take forever because of Silver Speed. So the S ranks are a lot more forgiving in his story. I know. In terms of the time bonus. So, yeah. We got a pretty decent time bonus from that. Alright. Ah. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention, we're also fighting a boss right away. Good job. Come on, you monster! Bitch. I would say bitch. That is Iblis. This is phase one. In Sonic and Shadow Story, we fight phase two. But in Silver Story, we, fa we fight phases one and three. So, yeah. And like I said earlier, uh... Uh, Shadow and Silver Story are both required if you want any backstory. Shadow Story. By the way, you can you can pick up the rocks and throw in. Yeah, you can pick up the craters and throw them at Iblis, just like that. Iblis has no nuts. also. I'm right in it. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, that happens. Oh, pick something up. There we go. Look at that. We're already at... We're already at halfway done. Oh, fuck. Oh, my dudes. Also, for some reason, uh... Crisis City has rings. Oh, yeah, that can happen. And also, be careful, because you can fall off. There are no invisible walls at any point during this. So, yeah. You you can fall off, so watch out for that. And also, that can happen, because, you know. Is and now, now we can see his ugly mug. Oh, he's a big lava monster. Okay. Ah shit. You have to hit his head, because nothing else is gonna hurt him. And that didn't go to his head. Good job, Silver. Way to aim. Let's see, is there anything else around here I can grab? Uh apparently not. Are you winning? No, nope, there's nothing else I can grab. Oh, okay, that's cool. Cool. Cool, Blaze can't do nothing, but okay. Alright, he's gonna grab another building. And all, all we right, have to do right. is... Just get out of the way. Or get not. Get out of here. I thought I was out of the way. Fucking A, stop bouncing off each other. You bitch. And done. Of course, this isn't the last time we will see Iblis, because he just keeps coming back up. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, 
he's got that kind of power. There we go. Jesus Christ. And S rank. Nice. Oh, is you so goddamn slow? <laughs> well, that boss can be beaten in in two minutes if you know what you're doing. So that's cool. However, the devs probably knew that you would have zero idea what you were supposed to do. So, like I said, the S rank, uh, in terms of time bonus, is a lot more forgiving in this story. So yeah, here's where we get a special character introduction. That's cool, I guess. Looks like we stopped it for now. But it'll just rise up from its ashes again. <laughs> What's the point of all this? Like it'll ashes. never end. Ouch. Calm down, Did you hear that? It was like, oh, cool. Like, that could have... Tell me what we should do. That could have... He could have broken his... completely destroy Fingies. He could have broken his fingers from doing that. Yeah. Blaze is voiced by Bella Hudson in this I game, by the way. The truth, of course. I forget who Silver's voice actor is, but it's not Jason Griffith. It's somebody else. Just as a from a seed, or a chicken comes from a This guy is voiced by Dan Green. Everything has an origin. This is probably Dan Green's best work. You need to find the being originally responsible for this catastrophe. Catastrophe? Is that really the answer to our problem? Tell me, do you know who it is? Bitch. I could probably... It's somewhere on IMDb. I can probably look it up real quick. Who was... <laughs> <laughs> right here, <laughs> this is the cutscene, and it just makes you a beta cuck. But that's, but that's impossible. impossible. With my help, you can. Because I have the power to travel through time. No way! In order to change the past. You must eliminate the individual who has awakened Iblis. The Iblis trigger. Okay, so Pete Capella is the voice of Silver. If I eliminate that guy, will our world be saved? Who would get replaced uh, with Quentin Flynn. Mm -hmm. And Quentin Flynn, in my opinion, is better than Pete Capella. No offense Here to Pete Capella, he's, he's a great voice actor. Uh, this was when Iblis was free. But Quentin Flynn, in my opinion, is the silver. I, I just like Quentin Flynn's silver a lot better. Um, but then Sega completely had to fuck everything. Because in Team Sonic Racing, he gets replaced by uh, Bryce Pappenbrook, a.k.a. fucking what's-his-face from Sword Art Online. Uh, Kiro? I don't know. I fucking... I, I probably butchered that, but yeah. But yeah, that Bryce Bryce Pappenbrook is is the voice of Silver uh, from Team Sonic Racing onwards, and I'm like, why? Quentin Flynn was good. Ow! Silver will never see. See, Sega is following the concept of what people are portraying Silver as. A dumb gay hedgehog. I shit you not, he even sounds like that in Team Sonic Racing. You know the part where he's like, where Sonic's like, I'm so gonna own you, Silver, and he's like, okay. <laughs> and Sonic's like, no, 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 you're supposed to say, in your dreams, Sonic. Where oh, in I? your dreams, Sonic. Ah, too late, the motion passed. Please? And I'm just like, no, 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 no. Please? So, so, Silver's character got fucked over in this game. I guess we all got separated. But he got revived in future games, and then Quentin Flynn became his new voice actor, and that was the best Silver I've ever heard. This and his is character so unbelievable. His character was much more developed with Quentin Flynn as his voice actor. And then Sega was just like, oh guess what? He's now voiced by uh Bryce Pappenbrook, and now we made now him sound I must stupid. For the future. And now he sounds like a little kid. Why? I know we I know we recorded two separate uh, recordings for part one, but we are going to leave it here. Uh, and if you don't mind, I'm going to save real quick. Yeah. Uh, so for part one of Silver Story, anyways, because I forget what part this actually is. I think it's part seven.
Let's see. Uh, we did. We did it took s- us like six uh, episodes for Sonic, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this would be part seven. This would be part seven. Okay. So yeah. yeah. In so yeah. So that concludes part seven. Uh, tune in for part eight when we uh, continue Silver Story. Mm. And uh, yeah. So leave a like down below if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, ring the bell, and all that. Yes. And, uh, yeah, um, any parting words before we, uh, conclude part seven? Anybody? No, not really. So, hold on. He's gay, right? That's what we understood? Uh, well, if you want to... If Team Sonic Racing is any, any indication, then most likely. Oh, okay. I have no idea, but... Yeah, so... But then again, Team Sonic Racing isn't canon. But True. then again, Bryce Pappenbrook does come back to voice Silver in Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. So non-canon, then. So, Bryce Pappenbrook is the new voice of Silver, because otherwise they would have gotten Quentin Flynn back, and... <sighs> Sega, please, bring Quentin Flynn back. Seriously. Please. Please? Seriously! There are people out there who actually like Silver as a character. And you're fucking him right now. <laughs> Not literally. Stop <laughs> Stop with your filthy mind. I'm sorry! You are fucking his character by changing his voice actor from Quentin Flynn to Bryce Pappenbrook. You're talking about Kiro from fucking SAO. An anime that everybody shits on. Seriously, this is your you know, this, this is your worst fuck up since this game. I shit you not. This is your worst fuck up since this game. Think about that for a second, and bring back Quentin Flynn. Anyways, on that, I've been Junior Natural Twenty Four. He's been Not uh, yep. Boy Glitch. She's been Melina Blue That's Vortex, right. and we've been playing Sonic 06 for far too long, but. We still have to you continue. Know, in all honesty, I'm having fun. This yeah. game may be shit, but it's it's shit to the point where we can have a good time and have a good laugh and you know it's shit it's, on the it's, shit on the shit. It's fun shit. Make a make a big pile of shit like the like that pile of shit that uh, the guy walks up to in Jurassic Park and he goes, "That is one big pile of shit." Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so thanks everybody for watching and remember this. We do not want just one of you, but we want everybody who's watching this video to stay glitchy. And with that, ciao, ciao babies. babies. Six months ago.